I'm Paula Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. Today is Tuesday, February 1st, and we're here with your morning announcements. The NHS Blood Drive is coming up this Thursday, February 3rd. If you're participating, be sure to eat a big breakfast and lunch and drink lots of water in the coming days. Don't forget to turn in your parent permission forms to the Blood Drive tables at lunch or to Ms. Chase in HN1. In honor of Black Lives Matter Week of Activism, Student Equity Council is hosting stands during both lunches all week. There will be trivia, prizes, and much more. Also, be sure to pick up a Black Lives Matter armband to show solidarity on Friday. Now let's pass on over to Dylan Desaya for your sports update. What's crack-a-lack and Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Let's get into your spectacular sports update. Congrats to the girls' basketball team on their win over Davis 44-43. Also, a great game to the boys' basketball team, beating Davis 66-53. to Now let's check out how our girls' basketball team played St. Francis. And Kathy, what are some improvements you think your team needs to make in order to beat St. Francis? Um, handling pressure from a very aggressive team and going towards the ball. Hey Dylan, our basketball teams are looking immaculate right now. They are indeed. For our next segment, we want to present to you the top five plays of the week for cricket. Yes, you heard me right, cricket. This is for you, Mr. Summers. Moving on from that, let's get into some NFL news, specifically the AFC and NFC championship game. Yes, sir. Again, we got two really close games. In the first game, we had the Chiefs Bengals, and oh my gosh, Joe Burrow cannot be stopped. But credit to Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. They were so close to winning in overtime, but Mahomes threw a pick, and Evan McPherson kicked the game-winning field goal. After the Niners' heartbreaking loss to the Rams, let's take a moment of silence for all the Niners fans. Thank you. 
but that means we're in store for a Rams Bengals Super Bowl with probably the two most liked quarterbacks in the league. Yeah, I'm super excited. Now, please stay tuned next week for our predictions. Well, Josiah, the greatest football player of all time officially hung up his cleats. For Tom Brady's Instagram, he has stepped away from football to focus on other things. Man, that's crazy. He's been in the NFL for since our entire life. Yeah. The game will not be the same without him. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. So sad to see him go. For real. Well, Will Pack, thanks for tuning into your sports update. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. This Thursday, February 3rd, the Counseling Department will be hosting a parent university from 6 to 7 p.m. on Zoom. Counselors will be there to answer questions and give information about course selection for next year. The Zoom link will be sent out this week. In celebration of Lunar New Year, the Vietnamese Student Association will be making paper lanterns today in Library 1, so be sure to stop by. Now let's check out a video on Lunar New Year from Student Equity Council. From the Student Equity Council to the Wolfpack, we want to wish you a happy Lunar New Year, which is celebrated typically in the beginning of the year based on the moon for 15 days. Why is this date special? Over a billion people in China and millions around the world celebrate Lunar New Year. This holiday coincides with the date of the new moon. The starting date changes year to year and the theme depends on the rank of the 12 lunar animals. On this day, people traditionally clean the house give red envelopes to children to bless them with good luck, watch fireworks or light up fireworks to ward off ancient monsters, and watch the lion and dragon dance which sends away evil spirits. Similar to astrological zodiacs, there are 12 zodiacs for Lunar New Year, but instead of having one for each month, it is a cycle of 12 years, one for each year. Once designated as zodiac, there are certain characteristics you supposedly have. Stay tuned for our second video where we will talk about the myth behind Lunar New Year. For more information about holidays like these, be sure to follow Student Equity Council on Instagram at COHSSEC. Well, that's all we have for today, Wolf Pack. I'm Paul Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy Lunar New Year, Wolf Pack. <laughs>